what's up everyone rc84 here like always thanks for watching well folks back here with the tamaya m1025 hummer restore project and as you see here the body has been painted the chassis along has been painted as well and i did this all in a satin black which is a nice good off-road type color to go with now why did i go ahead and paint the chassis in a satin black well the reason why i did this is to dull down on the shyness of the plastic so it gives that more dull effect and also give that more realism effect to it so let me go ahead and take the top off so you guys can look at it i'll put that to the side as you see i painted the whole chassis in the satin black and that way it'll help kind of like cast a bit of a shadow and get this thing a little bit more realism uh, effect to it. So that's what I've done. Now I've gone ahead and cleaned up all the parts and stuff like that. All the gears and bearings are all brand new. I'm very excited about that. So it, here's the dog bones. I uh, took some sandpaper right there and just scruffed them down and get all that uh, grime off of it and rust and stuff like that as you see everything it looks nice and shiny again same thing over here all nice and shiny but these right here still have grease on them which I probably will leave that grease on there everything's nice and shiny did the shocks as well and uh, I got some body pieces over here from the Hummer that I'm going to work on next is getting the windows cleaned up as you see a lot of grime on there also the mirrors right there these are for the body to hook onto the chassis so um yeah so that's what i've done so far with the hummer it's actually turning out pretty good i have a few more things to do i gotta install all the parts back in there now i want to talk about this right here the differentials now the ta02 chassis has a ball bearing uh diff on the rear so it's going to be a little tricky to lock this diff. I don't really know if you can lock a ball bearing diff. I don't know on that part. But what I do know is that the front differential right there is the same differential in the CC01 chassis, which is the uh, Unimog, which is right over there. You see? And uh, it has the same diff, so I can actually lock this diff and have full time full of drive in the vehicle. Now I'm not exactly sure if I want to do the full time full of drive or do I just want to have kind of like the part time full of drive system on it. Uh, I know in a lot of videos that I've seen with the actual real Hummers, uh, a lot of people would run them in the part time full of drive, which means that each tire is spinning at a different speed. So if I lock the differentials, both of them, I would have the full time full-time full-wheel drive so the vehicle will be a lot better on crawling now I don't know if I want to do that right yet or just run it like you know like it came from the factory or what uh, I'm not exactly sure what do you guys think comment down below let me know what you think um, but I probably will lock all the differentials or both of the dental <laughs> let me get my words straight here I probably will lock both of the differentials that way I'll have the full time full drive uh, but I think I'll start it off with just the regular uh, setup and see how that works uh, if that seems to be a lot better then I'll try that but uh, I really don't know guys <laughs> I think I will probably lock the diffs but so far guys the project is turning out pretty well I can't wait to get this thing out there on the uh, out there on the trails also let me show you this right here why I'm thinking about it here is the B-Lock rims these are the uh, G-Made uh, I think VR hang on I got the package right here uh, there we go G-Made VRO1 1.9 B-Lock rims so uh, now the thing is I don't know if I'm going to change these color rims from gloss black or to silver or something but this is how it's going to look um look if i can get it up there <laughs> all right there we go all right <laughs> so what so that's what it would kind of look like kind of a you know matte finish with the gloss rims that's pretty like a popular thing to do to a lot of uh vehicles or i could break it up and do a silver color instead uh or chrome effect 
to uh, kind of offset the body a little bit. I don't know, what do you guys think? I know it's all about what I think and what I like, but I'd like to ask y'all's opinion as well. So, um, yeah guys, so that's the Hummer <laughs> N25 project. It's coming along great. Uh, so guys, thanks for watching. And uh, stay tuned for the next video, uh, which will be installing everything and getting the electronics installed. And then hopefully the next video will be the Fisher Run video of the Tamaya Hummer. Well guys, thanks for watching and I'll check y'all out later.